I think practically in the school the difficulty is um, going through that 650 study guides, you know, putting my teacher hat on. Uh, sometimes there's, uh, you know, there's just so much information. There's, it, the tr you have a choice five minutes before the bell goes, you know, do I go with what I've done for the last two years or do I look for something new? And so therefore I think that it's great um, and I've seen this with other schools, with some schools where they set up a system of communication within the school, um, largely um, orchestrated by the librarian or the, an AV librarian if a school is lucky enough to have one, where they might download those study guides, um, print them out, keep them ready with the DVD all nightly, nicely stacked up just as if they were books and then you can just borrow it out. I think into everyone should do that. <laughs> <laughs> the timings don't, don't necessarily line up with um, you know, your uh, bell times at school and so you really need to be a step ahead of the game there. Um, I know that uh, all of you will have your work programs that you're working through so it's just really a slight change of gear to be looking a bit further down the track and you will find that um, uh, most promotion of, of any um, significant television will come out six weeks in advance. Uh, the Making of Modern Australia is starting to be promoted now, but it won't come on air until the 22nd of July. Um, so that will be one that you will be able to either um, record for yourself and use at school or set up someone at school. So it's almost like a management issue more than anything else. And it's almost like having too much in the pantry to choose from. But once you start to go into it, um, I think that that will be the most challenging thing is narrowing it down and fitting it in with your time scale.